on today's review we're gonna take a look at the star wars the black series the mandalorian imperial stormtrooper and here we have the figures standing straight out of the box without any pose or accessories and first impressions i gotta say i'm really liking the new stormtrooper mold that they used it was really time for the old one to go because the proportions were just not right it was way too skinny and this new one actually looks like there's a person inside the armor it really captures the way that they looked in the new mandalorian show it's just the really clean not dirty or anything and it's great so let's get straight into the accessories and here we have the accessories or more like the accessory that he comes with he only comes with the stormtrooper standard e11 blaster rifle it's basically the weapon that every stormtrooper comes with but they just kind of improved on the old mold I'm, i'll show you that in a second but i just wanted to take a look at the new one uh the only difference is really that they put a little flashlight here on the right but i like the black paint application that this comes with also if i just pull out the old one right here as you can see the new one is just slightly shorter which is more screen accurate and it has the little flashlight on the right here see that's the only difference really and now let's get into the details of the figure starting from top to bottom let's take a look at the helmet first I'm actually liking the blue pattern right here that is screen accurate I don't know how many of these lines are there but I'm pretty sure it's screen accurate I'm surprised that they went with uh, black lenses actually because it would be more correct to have them kind of dark green-ish but it's okay I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it being black it seems like there's a actual face under the helmet as well that's some nice detail into the chest area and if you wanted to know this is actually a separate piece right here the chest armor i think that's pretty cool it, it just adds to the immersion shoulder pads are movable here as well so that it doesn't hinder the articulation here you have the standard stormtrooper pattern as well You have this which is i think this is supposed to be a, um, like a grenade holster or something look at the ammunition belt or whatever they have in there i never actually knew what they hold there but whatever i'm pretty sure it's just ammunition moving on to the legs It's not that it's nice that they went with a pinless articulation here it just hides everything as well as here actually i just noticed that it's pinless so it doesn't look ugly right on the bottom you just have the labels and everything so now let's get into the articulation part and now let's get into the articulation part mind that this is my personal copy of the figure so that i might be a bit safer with it so starting off from top to bottom of course the head is on a ball joint so it can rotate around it's also on hinge so it can look about this done that's pretty good actually and it can look up a bit not too much but it's not too bad the arm is on a hinge it can move out about this much the shoulder pad does hinder it a bit but it's nothing too bad this can move a bit as well if you want but again not too much there is a slight butterfly joint which allows it to do some extra movements there is no bicep cut swivel sadly but i don't think it really needs it there is a 
swivel on the elbow. Uh, it's a single joint on the arms, and that uh, that's actually put for a single joint on the arms. Yeah, that's very good. Not too bad. The left hand is on a horizontal hinge, so it can move side to side, about this much and about this much the other way. The other hand is, of course, on a vertical hinge because it's a gun holding hand. It can move about this up, this much down. It's nothing too much, sadly. I wouldn't have minded if it was a bit better, but whatever. Torso isn't a ball joint, so we can hula hop quite nicely. Can well, that's pretty good as well. Back this much, down this much, pretty good. Forward, sadly, sorry. <laughs> um, the legs are on a ball joint. It can move about out this much. Can move forward about this much. Sadly, this ammunition pouch thing kind of hinders the articulation. Can move back about this much. This armor piece hinders it a bit. The legs are on a single joint, but I think it's pretty good look. It uh, cannot kick his own butt, but that's I think too bad. There is actually a swivel on the uh, thighs as well. It's pretty good. Um, the ankle is on a pivot. So it can move up about this much, it can move down about this much, that's, that's really good. It can also swivel side to side. Alright. I think we went over everything pretty much, so now let's get into size and comparisons. So now moving on to size and comparisons. The figure seems to be standing at approximately exactly 15 centimeters, which in inches, that translates to exactly well, six inches. Now, comparisons, here we have the Star Wars The Black Series Gaming, gaming Greats um, Stormtrooper Commander from the Force Unleashed game. Here you can also see the difference between the old and the new mold of the Stormtrooper. Here you can see that the helmet is actually a bit bigger and I like the new one better, actually. I mean, this, of course, is a bit dirtied up and everything, but we can see some scaling here. Here we have him standing next to the Disney Store exclusive Diamond Select Star Wars Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi. And... Here we have him standing next to a can of Coca-Cola, just for fun. So, final thoughts on the figure. I really like it. It's the standard classic Star Wars Stormtrooper. How can you not love it? If you're a Star Wars fan, I would say it's a must-have for your collection. Or if you just want some Stormtrooper and action on your shelf. I think Hasbro did a great job at turning this iconic character into figure format. The sculpt is perfect, the paint application is nice. The articulation is really good for a character like this, even though he doesn't need too much articulation to begin with. I would say this is one of the best Stormtrooper figures out there. Thank you so much for your attention, it was me, the collector. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like, or if you didn't like the video, consider leaving a dislike. That's an option for you as well. And if you want to see more figure reviews, consider subscribing to my channel. Much appreciated, and goodbye.